What's going on everyone? This is Adam, this is What's Good in Riverside, and this week's food vlog, we're at Monty's in the Food Lab, and we have a guest today, Old Raven. She is a, uh, are you? Registered dietitian. Oh, so she's gonna tell us all the great things on eating plant-based food, so let's check this place out. So I just got done eating my meal at Monty's. You know, I will say this about this place. If you go into it not expecting that it's plant-based food, you probably can't taste the difference. But because you know it's plant-based food, you start thinking and you start comparing, like, oh, does that taste like the burger I had last week? But overall, the burger's good, liked it. The home sauce or whatever, the homemade sauce is pretty decent, fries are good. I got the chocolate shake. It's really, cocoa, like, has that cocoa powder in it. Not bad at all, like honestly, there's a little bit of a like aftertaste. Um, I have had the soda here before, so I couldn't do that, so I went with my normal Diet Coke, because it's trash. And uh, obviously Raven thought so, because she didn't drink any of it. But uh, uh, no, overall it's good. I mean, I don't come here often. One, it's very expensive. I mean, for three people, it was like $65. You know, that's for a burger and fries. I'm sorry, I'm not paying $65, but you know, if you're into, healthy eating and you're vegan and you you know those kind of things this is definitely a, uh, a few spots in Riverside that you'd have to come and check out and it's great being at the food lab too because if I want something you want something we, everyone has options so you can all so if you're ever out with your buddies or on a date or with your family and they can't figure out a place to eat just go to the food lab and everyone just goes all their directions so overall I like it don't eat it often because it's expensive and I can go get a in and out burger and shake and fries for $9, but you know, it is what it is. Raven? So overall, I also really like it. I think it's just important to have vegan options in Riverside. Is there propaganda over here? It's all about vegan. <laughs> just to have options because it's so limited, as Adam said, that um, I can only think about two or three places in Riverside. Um, and for me, like I want to just cut out meat like a little percentage throughout the week. So this is a really good option. Um, I don't necessarily think it's the healthiest option because I think it, the patty is um, somewhat like overly processed. And we were talking about how it's actually more fat than the regular burger. So it's just something to try, like expand your food palette and um, give it a try. So yeah. I would come back, yeah. I, I've been here a few times, so. I got the spark of lemonade. I definitely, um, yeah, I definitely give it a, a thumbs up. Uh, the burger I thought was decent. I tried not thinking about it being vegan food, but it just didn't have the same kick, uh, I think flavor-wise or something, as like a normal burger. Uh, but if you're vegan, this is definitely a good spot. I'll come back. Um, once I started getting a few bites into it, the, the burger was getting a little better, and I just started eating. Tater tots are good. Uh, I had the shake Adam had. It tasted just like a Wendy shake with a lot of pow in it, a lot of chocolateness in it. Um, so it was just kind of overwhelming to me. But like I said, if I was vegan, I'd come here and uh, play slaps. So yeah, that's it. I'll see you on the next one.